All right, guys, thank you for joining us. We're here on Diesel Performance Podcast for a very special episode. Uh, I'm on the phone with a couple of guys I'm going to introduce here. Uh, it's from Larkin Motors, LLC. I have Jeff and Gargiola and Josh Larkin. Guys, how the hell are you? Good. How are you doing? Good, good. I'm good. Uh, let, let's make it easy for the listeners. Josh, what was the first car you ever drove? First car I ever drove? Uh, Toyota Tacoma. Oh, my God. I love it. What year? Uh, it was like an 85. You said indestructible Baja truck? I yep. agree. Yep. All right. All right. And uh, Jeff, how about you? Oh, mine's way better. 1994 Eagle Summit. <laughs> white red <laughs> do you like i in high school we 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 referred to those as parent rentals because your parents owned them and you drove them like a rental car and that's just what it was right oh yeah it was definitely handy down <laughs> <laughs> uh guys i'm really excited to have you on today um and talk a little bit about a program you guys have been doing for quite some time now uh, that's veterans helping veterans over there at larkin motors in bridgewater massachusetts uh we recently got involved on you on a, with a, a gas project and, and we'll talk about that here at the end but first tell our listeners a little bit about your history and larkin motors history so uh we started back in 2016 um we're, uh, we're both firefighters, and uh, everyone in the fire department has kind of a side gig. So uh, we uh, started uh, Larkin Motors out of a, a little two-bay garage, and then uh, from there we grew up. Uh, we've been to two other spots since then, and uh, just recently, probably November, uh, we moved into uh, our new uh, location. Um but yeah, we do uh, you know a little bit of everything, mostly diesel performance and repair. But we do gas stuff too. Um, and uh, yeah, we uh, do two days a week at the fire department, and uh, the rest is uh, grinding, working on cars. Oh, good! You're one of those seven day seven day a week work ethics. I like that. I like yeah. that. <laughs> Guys, I, I saw that you you have had some massive expansion. The the photos of the the new building look great. It looks like it's a it's an awesome facility. Uh, I also noticed the dyno just got dropped off. What kind of stuff have you guys gotten to run on the dyno so far? Um, so, so far, our first car we had on there was a 2002 Corvette. It was uh, a friend of a friend's kind of, uh, you know, breaking it in, figuring the machine out. Um, then, uh, you know, we've had a couple of uh, BMWs. Um, we had a, we did a, a supercharger uh, install on a 2019 Tahoe. That was our most recent. Uh, we kind of did an in-house uh, tune on that guy and, and got it running right for the customer. Um, but so far, uh, just that dyno jets coming, uh, at the end of the month to kind of give us, uh, an in-depth class on the, uh, the machine and software itself. Awesome. Just playing with it for now. I know how that goes. New toy shows yep. up. You got to test it, right? Yep. <laughs> um, Jeff, can you tell us a little bit about what the, the veterans helping veterans program is? Uh, so I joined Josh back in um, 2018, and uh, we started working together. We are just thinking of ways that we could kind of give back, and uh, we were dealing with someone helping us with a small business plan um, through the VA, and there was a lot of people he was helping out in need, and we figured, hey, you know, people out there, the veterans that need help, why don't we see what we can do to help them out any way we can, and we came up with this veterans helping veterans thing where – you know, they come, they tell us the, what's going on in their life, what's wrong with their car, and uh, we kind of go from there and, uh, and you know, do all the work and leave it for free to help. That's awesome, man. I, I know that that's something that really caught my eye. Um, I, I know that's these days uh, a lot of people talk about big national organizations and, and their, their value and their impact and things like that, and I think where, where it really reminds me is that it's important when we can find small local businesses who are willing to help out in a small and local way. And that's somebody's just standard repair bill, you know, somebody who just needs their car to, to keep working and to keep going. Uh, and to be able to have that type of help, I know is a huge deal. How long have you guys been doing it? Uh, our first one, I think it was in June of last year, right around then. And we took a, we took a little hiatus when uh, we were moving from one shop to the other, and then we kicked right back into it. That's awesome, man. 
Well, I'm excited yeah. to hear it. Uh, I, I know we recently just worked on uh, a gas truck with you guys. Uh, Josh, can you tell me a little bit, or I'm not sure which one of you was involved on the truck. Uh, what kind of truck was it? What did we do to so, it? It was a 20... It was, a, I, I believe it was a 2013 uh, Chevy Silverado 1500. Um, the, uh, the veteran uh, had uh, recently uh, gotten laid off, and uh, he started back up at school and, and stuff like that, just going through some hard times. His front end was uh, making some crazy noises, and uh, he wasn't comfortable with driving it. So uh, he dropped it off, um, found a couple things wrong. Uh, with uh, He had uh, some serious issues with his brakes and, and uh, a couple small uh, minor suspension issues um and then uh that's when uh you know we repaired all that and then you know you guys reached out to us and uh offered to help and and uh we uh threw a tune on him uh, on that truck to surprise him and he was uh he was pumped (laughs) we're always glad to hear that it's nice when you can get your truck back and it just it just goddamn runs straight down the road without rattling and, and clunking like crazy. Uh, but I know it's another just whole set of smiles to actually have some extra power with it. Did you get a chance to drive it? What'd you think? Oh yeah, I, it was great. Um, way better throttle response. Um, definitely, definitely more torque down low, and uh, you know the thing cruised right along uh, very well and uh, improved fuel mileage. Um, he he texts me probably every three days, uh, you know, giving me updates on the truck and how much he loves the tune and stuff like that. <laughs> That's great, man. I love to hear that. Uh, all right, guys. Well, what does the future hold for Larkin Motors? Where do you guys see this project going? Uh, we actually just put in our paperwork for a nonprofit uh, this week, and uh, we're looking to hopefully raise money, more money to help more veterans out in, uh, in what we're doing with cars and, and you know, just keep grinding at it and uh, keep helping people out. That's so amazing. I love to hear that. Yeah, so we're, we're up in uh, Bridgewater, Massachusetts. Um, the, uh, you know, we got a 4,500 square foot building, and uh, like I said, we kind of worked on a little bit of everything. Um, yeah, we're right on the main road. Pretty, pretty, uh, pretty nice building that we just moved into. If we have any listeners who want to follow along, because I know you guys have a lot of really great social media content on your Facebook page and some of the other channels, how can people kind of follow you guys or find you or maybe even pitch in and help out towards uh, the project? So uh, helping out towards the project, the best thing that people can do um, is go on uh, LarkinMotors.com and they can purchase uh, any kind of merchandise. And what we do is a, a, a portion of the merchandise goes towards a Veterans Helping Veterans Fund. Um, the, uh, you know, you can follow us on uh, Facebook as well and Instagram. Um, and uh, we're starting up a, a YouTube channel as well uh, just to kind of show the uh, shock shenanigans and, and you know, uh, film some of the veterans, you know, their faces when they receive their vehicles and stuff. Um it's a, it's a pretty cool site. Um, as far as like, uh, like big, big, like dreams and plans, we hope to have like, uh, you know, maybe, uh, eventually, you know, a guy that's deployed, you know, we'd like to go take his truck and just, you know, maybe have some more sponsors and like maybe do lift wheels and tires, stuff like that, you know? So when they come home, it's even a bigger surprise, you know, they're, it's nice, nice to come home to your family, but it's also nice to come home to, you know, nice and new and fun stuff, too. Yeah, absolutely. No, that sounds amazing. Well, guys, uh, I know I'm really appreciative that we got a chance to get involved with you guys. I know there's a lot of big stuff in the future for Larkin Motors. I think you guys have a really cool program going on here with Veterans Helping Veterans. Any final thoughts, anything you'd like to share with our listeners that we haven't covered yet? I appreciate you guys and uh, reaching out to us and helping the veteran, you know, helping out what we're doing. I really appreciate what you guys did. Um, that was awesome. Yeah, hey, not a problem. We're always happy to help. Uh, listeners, go LarkinMotors.com. Check it out today. Uh, jump on there, buy some merchandise, buy some T-shirts, uh, get some stuff going on. These guys are, are really honest, and, and they're really doing something that's cool here, and I'd love for all of our audience members to be a part of it. Uh, for today, this has been Paul Wilson, and thank you so much for listening. See, I told you I thought it was Massachusetts. You said yeah. East Coast, but yeah. that's 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 a lot of coast. You know.